hello everyone and then welcome to another tutorial video okay so in this video we'll be treating um sets okay we will be looking at the secrets to using the scientific calculator to um solve set questions okay set based questions that's we are basing our um questions on was okay the upcoming was examination so we, we picked certain was questions and then we'll be implementing these methods you know in solving what these questions using the scientific calculator as i already stated in our previous video once you know these tricks okay once you know these secrets to using the calculator to solve these questions trust me you is the core mathematics and what elective mathematics okay so in case you are new to this channel i would urge you to know subscribe to the channel so that you, you get notified whenever you we upload these kind of videos okay like the video share and then in case you have any questions throughout the video just leave them in the comment section and then I'll reply to them as soon as possible. Let's dive right into this video. So in this video, we'll be treating what sets, okay, as initially stated. And then in case you want to see more or we want to see our previous videos on maybe indices and then how to use the calculator to solve WASI 2021 questions, core and then mathematics and all that, I'll link, I'll link a card up here so that you get to watch those videos too, okay? So without further matter ado, let's... Look at how we can solve this question. Now, this is a set question, okay? So, we first clear our calculator. So, shift 9, 3, equal to sign, then click on AC. So, with set questions, all you have to do is just punch the exact question on the calculator, okay? And then you arrive at the correct answer, okay? So, let's punch that, okay? So, for this question, you, you punch this, and then you click on what? The root sign, okay? Root 3. So, click on this, then you punch 3, okay? And then you click on this. You have what plus okay so you click on plus and you click on what the root sign again and then you punch in five okay after that you click on this then you click on the down arrow so that you move to the denominator okay you click on root five okay and then you click on five okay the root and then click on five so in case we were to solve this manually you would have found what the conjugates okay so we have five here in the numerator and five in the denominator and then you start multiplying that will waste your time okay so once you know this you are good to go okay so let's see how we solve this okay so we have what the final answer to what five okay five plus root 15 all over what five this means that we have what five okay we have five plus root 15 over five Me meaning we have five over five plus one over five root 15 okay so we have five over five plus one over five root 15 and then with that, it means that we have um, we have this exact solution in this format. Okay, so we have this okay, x plus y. So let me see whether I could just write that for you to see. Okay, I'm trying to write that out so that you see. Okay. Okay, so we have what? 5, okay. Let's see, we have 5. 5 plus root 5 on 5. Okay, so we have is what five plus root five okay root fifteen divided by what five okay so that's the answer we had over here so the five plus root fifteen over five it means that this is the same as five over five okay plus one over five root what fifteen okay so this is just the denominator okay so this is the same as what one plus one over five roots 15 it means that we've been able to represent it in this format okay this is the same as what x plus y root what 15 so we know that x is what one right here and then y is what one over 15 over five sorry one over five just like here okay now so we are to find what x and y and then after that we add the x and y okay so this is our x this is our y I mean this are x okay over here and then this are y one one over five is our y okay so all you have to do is just add okay add x and y so that we arrive at the correct answer over here okay so all you have to do is just add x and y and then we know that x and y is what x is one plus y is what one over five okay so let's see our answer that's what six on five okay so six on five is the same as one whole number one over five okay 
So six on five, the same as one whole number, one over five. In order to just know the exact uh, mixed fraction for this um, answer, you just click on shift and then click on this button, okay? It will give you the right answer. So we have what one over five, one whole number, one over five, okay? So the answer is what C, okay? You see how simple this is. Okay, so now let's move on to the next question. Okay, so we have to solve for, for this question. Okay, we have to evaluate. Okay, right. So let's see how we evaluate. And this is sorry. Um, says questions are quite straightforward. Okay, all you have to do is just point the questions, just like indices, and then you you arrive at the correct answer. There's no need to solve. Okay, there's no need to use your hand to solve during the exams. You you'll be wasting time. Okay, so let's point this question and then. Let's see our final answer. So we have two roots, what? 28. Okay. Then click on this. Always click on this sign so that you move outside the what? The Kesa will move outside what? The root sign. So when you, after punching this, you notice that the Kesa is within the what? Root sign. So when you click on this minus, okay? When you click on this minus, it will still be under the root sign. Okay. That's why I always click on this sign so that you move outside the root sign. So we have minus 3 root what 50 okay and then you click on that and then you have what plus root of what 72 okay so let's see a final answer okay so our final answer is what 4 root 7 minus 9 root 2 let's see 4 root 7 okay so the final answer is what this is the final answer b okay 4 root 7 4 root 7 minus 9 root 2 okay b is the correct answer now let's proceed Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, so we have what? This question. So let's see how we punch this question and then arrive at the what? The correct answer. Okay, so we have what? 1 over what? Root 2 plus 1. Okay, so we have what? Click on this. The fraction sign. Then you click on 1. And then click on the forward sign. And then you punch what? Root 2. Okay, so root 2. And then you click on the forward arrow sign so that you move outside the water root. Then we have what plus plus what one okay plus after this you just click on this and then you arrive at the correct answer okay so we have what minus one plus root two so let's check whether we will get what minus one plus root two okay so from here you can notice that the answer is what c okay so root two minus one is the same thing okay it's just the vice versa so they just brought the root two first and then they wrote the minus one later so the answer is what root 2 minus 1 okay you see how simple this is that's why i initially stated that once you know these calculator tricks trust me you will ace the exams okay but once you don't know you find yourself wanting you try to find the conjugate okay so you try multiplying here by what root 2 minus 1 and then divide by what root 2 minus 1 and then you start to what multiplying all that try multiplying expanding so that you arrive at the correct answer that will take much of your time okay during exams you don't have much time so all you have to do is just use the calculator just like i'm showing you to arrive to arrive at the correct answer okay right let's let's proceed okay let's look at what our next question this will be our final question okay this will be our final question so let's see how we arrive at the correct answer for this question okay so we have what we are simplifying 2 root 7 minus 14 root 7 plus 7 over root 21. Okay, so let's do that. 2 root 7 root 7. Click on this side. Minus what? 14 root 7. Okay, so we have what? 14. Click on the down arrow. Root 7. Click on the forward arrow. I've got plus 7 over 21, okay? We have plus 7 over root 21, okay? So let's see our final answer. Okay, so our final answer is what? Root 21 on 3, okay? That is A. So see how simple this is, okay? Once you know these tricks, you are good to go, okay? So in case you want to see more of these tutorial videos on how to use a calculator to ace your exams, all you have to do is just subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification by clicking on the bell icon so that you don't, you don't miss out on any future videos. And then I will see you in the ne next video. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.